Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Good to see you all. Thank y'all so much for coming. It is a pleasure, pleasure, pleasure seeing you here. Let's see. I am so glad y'all made it in. Listen, tonight is a night to chill, to crochet, to knit, to do any craft that you have on your plate that you have got to get done. So I am so happy that you all came out to hang out tonight. Um, let me go ahead and um, just greet everybody that's here. All right, we're going to start with Victoria Kid. Hello, you said I'll be crafting and lurking tonight. Everyone have fun. Thank you so much for being here, Victoria. Always a pleasure to have you in the chat. You feel me? Welcome in, Janet Egan. Always a pleasure to see you as well. Come on in, come on in. And we got uh, Gail Kearney. She's like, hi, waving and all the things, all the cute little emojis. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I love it. Let's see, this is Cat's Knit Place. Mimi Cat will be watching and knitting hugs. Oh, is that Mimi Cat do? Is that who we are? Honey, is this new? What? Help me, help me. Is that you, girl? Let me know. I love it. I love it. I'm here for it. Let's see, Sandra Atkinson. Welcome in. Good to see you as well. And then we got uh, Burnell is here. Hello, Burnell. Welcome in. And we also have Gail Kearney. Welcome in, Gail. How you doing? You said have a Coke in my cup, making my first continuous granny square blanket for my granddaughter. I love it. Love to hear it. Love to see it. Listen, we are here to get jiggy with it. Okay, fam, this is what today is about. It's about getting stuff done. Y'all, today for me, okay, some people may not like this, but it is what it is today. Today is a crochet break for me. It is a crochet break. Not a huge break, just an eensy weeny little itty teeny weeny itty bitty break because I've got to get something done. So what I have to get done today is a diamond painting of a journal. And I'm going to share this and this is what we're going to be working on tonight. After I finish this, honey, then I'll be back to crocheting regular. But right now I got a diamond painting to do. And, hey, listen, ain't nothing wrong with taking a little eensy weeny itty bitty little bitty itty bitty crochet break so i'm going to show you what i'm going to be working on and i'm excited that you are here so thank you thank you thank you for being here um i'm going to be putting um my uh let's see we're going to be putting some wonderful wonderful uh diamonds in these little little thingies here i'm gonna put at least uh i'm gonna try to get four in uh area here and i'm gonna show you what i'm working on uh, so thank you thank you for being here and thank you for working on your crafts tonight we're gonna have a little bit of music playing here in a few seconds i want to uh get that music going and i also want to know if the music is too loud you know if it's too loud let me know um if it's too low let me know always love to know what's going on with the music so what i'm doing is you're probably like what is all that noise you're making well i'm trying to get some things together i got all these um colors and things and everybody's not the same color and um what i mean is the um the diamonds so what i'm doing is trying to get some diamonds situated so that's what you hear me ruffling around about and some of them are together in different places let's see where is red do we have red in here i gotta put some away that fell out yeah so that's what we're doing today so what i'm doing is there is someone asked me to pick up if i could make them a um what i want to say if i could make them a journal and i said oh yes i will do that i will make a journal for you and so for a small fee i am doing this journal for this wonderful lady and so i'm going to be sharing that you will be seeing that momentarily because that's what we're going to be working on tonight so i have diamonds 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 but i don't have enough uh, little cases to store them in these are my old ones so i'm going to pull out some new ones and then we're going to go from there okay so I'm going to show you what all, if you've never seen diamond painting before, it's actually kind of fun. Um, and it's nice. It's a nice craft to do when you uh, have a little bit of a, uh, when you're, you when you lose your crow jaw a little bit, when you lose your crow jaw a little bit, ain't nothing wrong with uh, 
getting jiggy with it with some diamond painting i love it so that's what we're going to be working on tonight and uh i hope you guys are okay with that and uh we're gonna get we're gonna get started so i'm moving some things out the way so the thing is uh this is a it's a little kit that i bought that i actually absolutely love so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna work with let's see the number ones i'll start with ones twos ones twos threes we'll start with one twos and threes so that's what i'm gonna do it looks like the one twos and threes are all little itty, itty bitty one two threes and the fours are big so we'll start with one twos and threes and so i will put them all in its own little tray so and then we'll go from there and you'll see what i'm working on what i did it comes with a kit it comes with its own little tools but being this person that I am, child, I found me some tools that is going to work great with this. But before I get started, I need to um, put some lotion on. You know how you know how it goes, fam. You know how it goes out here. But we're going to get some music going on, too. So if you have some really cool things to work on, I love to hear it, love to see it, what you got going on out here. So that's what we're doing tonight uh crochet oh here's another thing i want to tell y'all family i finally finished writing out the pattern for the sonic the hedgehog and it was a lot it is a total of 15 pages yes i did that because that is going to be the graph again graph game that i'm going to be working on and i believe i'm gonna start that next saturday so guess what starting next saturday i'm going to be dedicating saturdays to working on the graph can so you guys could see this progress because i have never um done a graph can before i have completed a graph can um the graph can uh, a graph can a uh, washcloth and i'll show it i'll show it to you a matter of fact i'll show it to you tonight so you can see it you can get an idea what i actually finished now i gotta uh finish sewing in the ends but it's no big deal but i want to show you so that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to show you those. But let me show you the kit that it came with. It came with its own pack of, these are all different types of um, diamonds for diamond painting. And it came with its own little diamond painting putter inner thingy. So this is your picker upper, your diamond picker upper. <laughs> that's what I'm going to call it. And it comes with a little tray. Well, you know me, this is eh, kind of little. So what I do, I buy my own. And so because I buy my own, I'm going to show you. You know I love purple. But anyway, this is what it looks like. So I got one that picks up multiple ones at the top. And I got one that picks up uh, one at the bottom. So this one does one. This one at the top does multiple. So um what i need to do that's wax oh and it comes with wax so the wax is what you use which is this what you use to uh pick up to help pick up your your diamonds okay so we're going to go ahead and get ready to get jiggy with it but before we do this this comes with multiple different types of um heads that you can put on there some that pick up seven some pick up more than that some one is a little scraper thing oh this is really cool so i'm gonna go ahead and see what we saying in the chat all right let's see what we got going on out here let's see what we got going on in these streets all right let's see welcome in margaret margaret Oaday is here she said hi kelly she's saying hi to everybody she said meet me cat all right let's go yes and friends coming in god bless you folks i'm in and out of the bushes tonight okay all right no worries blessings to you margaret oaday thank you so much for coming in i do appreciate you being here and we got everybody saying hello hello gail hello sandra and gail again and roseanne honey i didn't see you earlier but welcome in roseanne alexander i mean i was like 
um i didn't see your name so i was like i usually see your name up in and i see it at first so i want to make sure i say hello to everybody i just don't want to miss nobody so hello dear welcome in always a pleasure to see you always a pleasure to have you you as well margaret O'Day. you are awesome and amazing uh praise the lord for you i thank god for you i thank god for all of you because you all are awesome all right we got terry johnson hello terry you say hi kelly everyone in the chat so glad to see all who you here yes it's a pleasure to see you here too look at her roseanne say hi to listen i love it when we greet everybody janet you say kelly i had a friend in the hospital we were told they were going to put her on a ventilator we went to pray we went to prayer the doctors walked in her room and she was sitting up and she said when can i go home you better come on look at god look at god amen he's amazing look our god is an awesome god he reigns from heaven above with wisdom power and love our god is an awesome god amen i love it i love to see it had to sing a little bit of that had to put that out there in the atmosphere y'all you know i had to do it hello layla harvey t she said hi kelly and all in the chat watching as being shortly okay love to see you glad to have you thank you so much for being here look at her yes yay 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 let's praise the lord today come on yes praise the lord yes amen come on listen we got look, recognize victories, honey. We recognize and testimonies of victories and all the things that the Most High is doing in the lives of us, our friends, and everything. Listen, I'm here for all the good things. Amen. 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 And amen. Yes. 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 So glad to see it. So glad to have y'all. Okay. So that's what we're doing today. We are doing a uh, diamond uh, painting. And I will be doing starting with one, two, and three. So those are the colors that we're going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and get those set up. And then I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show you the um, graph gan, the sample graph gan that I finished because I want you to see what it looked like. And um, I think I can get, I got the hang of how to do it. I watched many videos and uh, just to, you know, grab up tips the tips and tricks of it all amen the tips and tricks of it all because child i don't think i i want to make sure i know what i'm doing child i'm out here in these streets you feel me want to know what i'm supposed to do okay okay well we got one two and three well all right all right so i'm gonna go ahead and um is this does this cut or do, oh this rips right apart okay and it doesn't oh, all right we'll put four five and six seven and eight away we don't need those tonight so it looks like i got a lot of ones twos and threes i got a lot of ones so i'm just going to dump a, a lot of the ones in um let's see so we got ones we got twos and we got threes threes are red twos are blue so we're going to start with a little bit here a little bit here a little bit there so this is three okay with this being three i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in there sprinkle 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 for three and i'm going to let, let three sit up top so i don't forget who three is amen and then we're gonna sprinkle a little twos then i'm gonna sprinkle little ones yes i'm doing it that way a little little backwards there but hey worth it worth it at the end of the day those are the twos. Oh, get in there. Two, try to get in one space. We're not doing that. No, we're not being disrespectful. No, we're going to be some respectful beads on tonight. We're going to be respectful diamond painting tonight. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the ones in here. One's got like two packs of ones. It's a lot of ones. So these are some teeny tiny ones, fam. So I'm going to dump some of these in here. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to get jiggy with it here shortly. I want to make sure we got all the ones. We got all the ones. We got all the twos and all the threes. This will be slightly out the way, but we know what these are. We will be doing out here in these streets. I should put them in here. Yeah, because I'm not using these. Let me, let me put them in here just in case they decide to tip over, which I don't think they will, but I want them to fall in a good place. Amen. Amen. All right. 
so I'm going to show you ones, twos, and threes. And then I'm, I'm also going to show you, I'm going to put this in here. I don't think I need these scissors anymore. And I'm going to use this. We're going to be good to go. All right. So I can show you all the cool things, what we got going on. Feel free to share me out, fam. We're going to have some music playing here in a moment, momentarily. I just want to make sure everything's everything. We're doing all the things, huh? We out here in these streets. Let's see. So I'll be out here for a minute, for a while. Uh, let's see. Yes. Okay. Margaret, I always wanted to see the UK. Oh, cool, cool, cool. You said, I got a knitting machine given to me by Loops and Threads, having a hard time figuring it out. Oh, really? Um, okay. Have you found any YouTube um, videos for that particular brand? Let's see. We got, hola, como esta? Maritza, what a pleasure to see you. Thanks so much for being here. And then we got a dozer gets crafty. Hey, honey, welcome in. What a pleasure to see y'all. Listen, it's always good to see you. You said it would be fab if you came. Yeah, wouldn't that be wonderful? Um, I hereby offer you an open invitation. Oh, that is so sweet. Margaret is such a sweetheart, I promise you. You said no, no, no. You haven't checked out any? See if there's any out there um, that are maybe even similar. Just uh, put a knitter's loom, I believe, and see if there's something out there that may be uh, familiar so you can get an idea of how to utilize and, and use that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in production. Well, let's get some music going first. Let's see what type of music we got going out here. We just going to have a nice, just chill kind of day. Oh my goodness. Hello, Free Handly May. Oh, Nisi. <laughs> Honey, welcome in. Welcome in. What's a hey, family? What's in y'all's cup and what is on y'all's hook? I left my tea downstairs. <laughs> I should go get it, but I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Um, I'm good right now. I'm still under the weather. My sinuses give me the blues, but you know what? This weather needs to get it together. Listen, we had rain, snow, rain, hail, rain, all in the same day. Who does that? I'm going to tell you, Ohio weather. That's what we had. It was crazy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I was like, what in the ham sandwich is going on? So we got colors one, two, and three. So, but before we get started on that, I'm going to show you. Um, okay. Let me show you the pattern that I, I'm going to show you the patterns that I wrote out um, because it was important. Also, let me bring in some music. Let me do that first. Let me go get some music. Um, let me know if the music is too loud. I'm going to turn it down a bit and it's just going to be just chill music today. We listen, let me see what we got. I can't hear anything. Okay, there it goes. Let me know if that's too loud. Let me know if the music is too loud, man. It's just a nice, just a chill type of music. It's on a loop, and we're going to just let it play tonight, amen? Is the music 
Mike okay? Let's see. Cool tea in my cup. You could thank you, Steve. I was needing somebody to let me know. Thank you, Steve. How you doing, Steve? I will turn the music down. For sure. Um, that's what I needed to know. If the music is too loud. How about that? Is that better? Do I need to turn me up some? Because I have my mic down as well. I can turn me up. Let's see. my mic does my mic sound nice okay how about that is that too loud or no is that good or no nah? let me know if my mic is too hot is that better thank you thank you is that better can you hear me better yes no Oh, it's good? Okay. Better? Thank you. Much better or just a little bit better? Because um, I can make it do all the things. <laughs> Welcome in. It's good? Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah. I just want to make sure we can hear. Everybody can hear. We're all good. We're here together as one happy family. Great. Yes. Thank you all so much. Appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so first thing I want to show you is I want to show you the pattern that I had to write out, okay? Because it's too much. Listen, I am doing a graphic in for the very first time. We're not doing it tonight. We're going to start it next week. We're going to start it on um, Saturday. And I'm excited to start it on Saturday. I've never done a graph GAN blanket or throw before. Um, the few a few days ago, I finished a washcloth. I just gotta weave in the ends, but I'll show it to you. But I'm gonna show you the pattern first. I've never done a graph band before, but I knew I had to write this pattern out because when I purchased the pattern family, it said digital pattern only, and I was like, "What? Digital pattern only? Who does that? We need more." So when I purchased it, I was like, "Well, where's the written instructions?" Well, it was like, "Duh, Kill, wake up." digital paddle only pattern only i was like oh okay so i had to take the pattern it came on four pieces of uh, uh eight by eight eight point five by eleven uh paper and so i had to cut it and i had to put it together and so i'm going to show you that and then i'm going to show you the written pattern and i'm going to explain it to you a little bit um so it looks kind of wonky because I'm, okay let me just go ahead and we're going to go ahead and bring in production and we're gonna show you all the good things, all the good things we're gonna show you. Um, this was a lot of work. It took me a few weeks to write this out um, because I was taking my time with it. The reason why I take my time with it, I write a few out because I didn't wanna mess up. So, and I'll explain my process here in a moment so you can see. All right, let's go ahead and bring production in the building. Come on production, let's go. All right, production is in the room. We got a lot of things going on here, fam. So let me, um, sh but I wanna show you this. Okay, so this is the pattern that came in, in this is what I'm gonna be making. Let's see. So you can kind of see, it's a it's a whole thing. It's a, it's, it's a whole thing, okay? Now, you see where this is uh, down here? This is supposed to be black, but I printed this off where the printer was running out of ink. So the black is the first to go on this one. So <laughs> the black was going. But as you can see, those tiny little squares, each square is a stitch. So this pattern is 129 by 203, right? Um, two, 129 stitches, but it's got 203 rows right so that's what i wanted to share that with you you can't see the numbers you can barely see the numbers this is what came now if i was going to try to go off of this grid child i can't i don't know you can't see the numbers is the numbers they they up here you can't see them 
but I promise you they're there. And, and the rows, those are the numbers. You can't hardly see those. So what I had to do was I was like, man, I could look at this from the computer and just keep going from there. But I said, uh, uh, I don't have time for that. I need to see what each row is, how many blacks I need, how many reds I need, how many whites, how many, uh, gold colors, right? So this is Sonic the Hedgehog. So what I did, I wrote the pattern out and this is what it looks like. I wrote this pattern all the way out and I want to show you what I did. So what I did was I put arrows to let me know what side was the right side. So row one is the right side for me to start. So after I do my chain, row one is going to be like this, right? And then I put right side. So I know that I'm on the right side with row one and it's going to be 129 stitches going. So actually I'm a chain. 130 but it's going to be 129 st stitches trust me it's going to work out so then on the second row i put wrong side so that i will know what the wrong side is and i put what color i'm going to be using at 129 stitches and i know that equals 129 stitches and i'm going to show you a little more here um each row each row has to equal 129 stitches so while i was counting so when I did my row, let's look at row 17 real quick. So I'm kind of just showing you, um, and I'll probably explain this next week as well, but there was 20 gold in row 17 going the right side. I need to do 20 gold. Then I need to do 39 black, 21 red, eight black, 27 red, two black, 12 gold. And this row has to add up to 129 stitches. So what I would do is I would write out the row and then I would get my calculator out and I would make sure it equaled 129 stitches. I did that for every single row, every single row. I played zero games. Let me show you. I was not playing. I was out here in these streets. I, yes, I typed all this up. And um, what I did was I put the wrong side or I indented the wrong side to make it even easier too for myself. Yep. So I did all this. You see what I'm saying? This is, this is not, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, fam. I'll show you. And then the last page, it's a lot. I wrote all this out. This took me some time to write out. And this is row page 14. I kid you not. I did all this and I finished it this morning with the last, the last row. Everything. Yep. So I finished it all out. That's page 15, 15 pages, 15 pages of, and all of this is this pattern right here. So I'm excited to get started with this next Saturday. So I was just showing you, this is what, this is what we did out here. This is what I was doing. This is what I've been working on. So now this, what you see now, while I was doing that, I decided to practice graph getting and what better thing to practice on than a heart. So that's what I did. I practice on a heart. Let me see. I still have, uh, I got a few, I got to, uh, put these up, but anyway, this is it. This is the Grafgan heart that I practiced on. And I realized what I needed to do, which is what I did was I did this while I was watching TV with my husband. Okay. <laughs> and this is the, uh, extended single crochet, which is what I'm going to be using for the graph can. So I figured instead of a regular cro uh, single crochet, which everybody does, I wanted to do something a little different. And so this is what I'm going to do. I didn't want to do, I see where I missed a stitch here. You see, I missed a stitch, but Hey, I was like, Hey, it's practice, whatever. And so <laughs> I didn't go back and fix it. I'm okay with that. But anyway, all that to say, I did this to, um, practice to make sure I can make a heart. So this is a washcloth. I'm gonna finish it up. I'm a, um, I did put a single crochet around a border on it, but I'm gonna finish 
putting in sewing in those these strands here these i'm gonna weave in my ends but this is it this is a heart i did it i was surprised i could and i did let me show you the pattern for the heart and i just went off the pattern because it was just two colors so this is the pattern i found it it was free i printed it off so if you ever want to try it this is it it's uh, called heart levy by lovable loops crochet uh, designs it's free and so i just printed it off and it tells you what colors to use well i decided my white was going to be this variegated color and the pink was going to be the that pink that i had um, and so that's what i did so i started so row one starts here row two starts there so you go the right way you read it from from right to left the second row you read from left to right the third row right to left the fourth row left to right but that's how you read the pattern yes so now that's what I'm that's what I'm doing so that's that for that now you said let's see what all right let's go here let's see what we're saying in the chat but I wanted to share that with you before I get into what we're getting ready to work on here um, thanks for being here Steve I appreciate you being here I feel like I'm seeing you forever, but I know I've been seeing you. Hey, Paula Mulford, honey, welcome in. Good to see you. Yes, everybody is here. And Margaret out here telling us all the food we're going to eat, Lord, at her house when we get there. She says, sure, Sandra and Gail, I'll have the kettle boiling and the cake sliced. Family is always welcome. Look at that. Look, it will sound like we're going to be eating over Margaret Overday's house. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? I love it. Welcome in, Samantha. Let's see. You say, no wonder you need a break, Kelly. Um, I would ha lose my mind if I was to do that sonic. Bless you, girl. I couldn't do that if my life depended on it. Oh, yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. It's all about taking your time, girl. Listen, we can do all things through the Christ who strengthens us amen <laughs> I love it we got this for sure hello hello welcome in everybody everybody that I miss hello I, I believe you could do it Gail I listen I'm here for it mm-hmm you said um I'll show my age oh you said hey hey Paul oh you are you're fine you are just fine you said wow God bless you yeah you said you make beautiful things kelly oh thank you so much um you said wait i think i see your journal yeah we can really get into it we can really get jiggy with it this is what we're working on tonight and you said where can i get the sonic blanket pattern okay so the sonic now i don't know if you were here when i stated that the pattern came i had to purchase the pattern which was the digital pattern it was not the written pattern it was the picture it was the graph only there were no written instructions at all so i had to write those instructions out now you can purchase that same exact pattern if you want to okay but writing that pattern out child that took me some time uh, now I don't even know how I could do this, but hey, if you're interested in that written pattern for a small donation, because that took me some time. I ain't even gonna kid you. I ain't even playing. That took me some time to write that out. But I would recommend you purchase the digital pattern. And for the written part of it, if you want it for a small donation, I'll send it to you. For a small donation, amen. Yes, I'll send it to you. Mm-hmm. And you can send it to my coffee coffee site yep yep hello hello and I'm just being honest and telling you the truth and that's only if you purchase the digital pattern because that lady needs she gets uh, you know you got to purchase that <laughs> where did I get it from um let me 
I can put where I got the pattern from if you're interested and it's something you want to try. But if you want the written part of it, small donation, I'll send you what I, I cause that took some time. Okay. So if you want, if you want it, you interested, purchase the digital pattern. And I, for a small donation, I will send you the written part because it was a lot of work. You feel me? Okay. Hi, Nifty. Welcome in. Welcome in. Good to see you. You said good. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, hello. Hi, TS. Welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, um, and, and that's what I'm gonna say about that. Cause that was some work child. I ain't even gonna kid you. I'm playing zero games. Let's see. Um, let me see about, let me grab that pattern. If you're interested in Sonic, I will put it in there where I got it from. I think I got it from Etsy. Let me, let me see. I think I got it from Etsy. I'm not sure, but let me, let me see where I got it from. I'll check out my purchases now. I did. I got it from Etsy. Okay. And it's, remember it's the graph only. It's the graph only. A lot of people were complaining because they didn't realize. Some people didn't realize this graph came in numerous pieces. And yeah. And so you can use now if you just want to just go by the picture, you can do that. For sure you can do it. trying to see how I can show this to you. Mm. Okay, let me go back. Because I want you to see where you can get a purchase from Libby. four patterns that she's done she has a pokemon she has this um sonic the hedgehog uh, i'll just drop this in the in the ch i'll just drop her her page in the chat and then you can go from there Control. because it's just easier that way oh what is this ain't nobody tell you to do that what in the world child this thing is being ridiculous okay Sorry about it. All right, let me go back. All right, let me try again. Control copy. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Bye, fella. Hey, hey, hey. Just getting home. So tired. Oh, welcome home. <laughs> welcome in. Glad to see you. Kelly, you are being modest. Writing it out was a lot of work. Yes, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. That's why I'm saying if anybody wants the pattern, they're going to have the written pattern. I will send it to you, but for a small donation, because it was a lot of work. It's 15 pages. 15 pages pages and I wrote it out to make sense I made sure everything added up I did all the things yeah so um you right Steve it was a lot of work and if you want the pattern you can pick it up from I would suggest you get the graph from I suggest you get the graph from um the lovely lady who wrote who uh took the time to put the graph together i'll drop the link in the chat it's in, from etsy her name is libby shooks it's the um again it's the it's the sonic hedgehog and she just does the digital pattern only but if you wanted the written part of it you can get it from me 
it is in a pdf form but it is going to be for a small fee because i that when i tell you it was a lot of work i ain't kidding steve is absolutely right it's a lot of work that's why it took me so long to write it out yep so hey there cat uh cats knit place all right everybody welcome in let's see paula everybody said hey there nicole nicole's here yes we doing diamond painting today because i got to get this done um somebody had asked me for a diamond painting and i said yes i got to get it done and for a small fee i am going to send this to um the lady she's uh she wanted one and i'm gonna show it to you here shortly so you can see what it is well let's see you say you need to get at least 20 bucks for that pattern just say you so sweet well the lady she don't charge that much for it's only like six bucks that she charged for the um for the uh she charged six bucks for the graph but for this i was i recommended donation is i would say six bucks for the written but if you don't have it because we family i'll take a small donation and and i'll, I'll send it to you because i love y'all that much I love you that much it ain't gonna cost you all that <laughs> okay so if you want to go to my um coffee site and say hey you got that written sonic pattern i'll be like girl provided that you purchase the graph you have to purchase the graph from libby from libby shook okay because i i don't know how that works i don't know if it's a copy i don't know i don't want no copyright issues or nothing like that but what i want to do is be the add-on to her stuff so if you want the written part for a small fee okay thank you so much gail you're so sweet you said i will be starting my mosaic later on this week okay cool so next weekend we're going to start the sonic i i hope to have all my prayer shawls done and and uh we'll have them all done and i'll be able to start this sonic because she ain't no joke okay so all right so today we are doing diamond art now this uh, like i was showing you earlier this is the graph gan of a heart um i didn't finish sewing in the ends which i am going to do i'm gonna finish showing these in And so this is the, this is what I practice on. Hey, free Hanley. You said doing a graph game is on my list of things to do though. Yes, here. Hey, hey, uh, free Hanley. Uh, listen, this is something to practice on. Download this free pattern. It's from Heart Lovey, um, Lovable Loops Crochet Designs. If you want, I'll drop it in the chat but this will be something for you to practice on. That's what I did to make sure I could do it, right? You want to practice before you get there. That's a, make a nice little dishcloth. And I went up on hook size because how I crochet, I was, the one I was doing before, it was getting tighter and tighter and it was going in like this. I had to change hooks because I crochet tight. So I end up using a 5.5 millimeter hook. And I think that's the size of hook I'm going to use for the, graph gan when i make it either 5.5 or 6.5 mil 6 6 millimeter hook it's going to be either one one or the other but this is a nice easy pattern to practice okay yes yeah, so you said okay so i'm going to send let me let me go get it let me go get that and then we're going to go ahead and i'll share with you about this diamond uh diamond art um journal child i know you jumping with both feet that's why i'm saying make a dishcloth so this this is so think of it as i'm making a washcloth before i make something big right so if you think of it that way girl you be fine you got this you got this i know how we do we like to jump on in there we like to get on in there huh we like to get on in there let's see uh heart lovey Okay. The 
designs heart oops so it's a heart levy I guess that's what let's see She's cute. Hold on. Let me see if I let me find it real quick. Um, free patterns. Lovable loops. Love. Where, girl? Where is your? Right. Hold on one second. Let me, let me, um, do it like this. Hold on. Let me, I got to find it real quick. Yeah. So just pretend like you're starting to wash cloth. That's what I would do. Heart level. far hold on guys i'm gonna find it and then we're gonna get into this uh diamond painting this ain't oh what in the world let's do it this way heart lovey Okay, found it. All right, I found it. Oh my good gracious. So the thing is with this one, she made it, it was a C to C, but don't, don't pay attention to that. If you just do one a single crochet, don't pay attention to the C. Here, let me just drop it in the chat. Don't worry about that. I'm going to drop that in this chat so you can grab that up. All right. So here goes. There it is. And also, if you are interested in only if you purchase the graph, the digital graph from um, what's her la lady's name? Libby Shook for the Sonic. You are more than welcome to hit me up and I will, but the way I want you to do it is this way. Uh, for a small donation, feel free. I'm going to drop my coffee in here. I'll say for or um, written better. Let's see. For the written. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh. Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. donation here's my um coffee site i'll drop it in there 
there's my coffee site that's if you want to just make sure you leave the message that's what you want but it's provided that you do have that okay so enough of that so let's go ahead and get into it so this is what was what's going to happen tonight so this is a journal and it's cute um and you can it's a memo you can write whatever you want in here and it's cool so i am going to be diamond painting this tonight can we get some light on the subject okay there we go so that's what we're going to be working on tonight it's just taking a little breaky o from crochet because i got to get this done for this lovely lady who is uh purchasing this from me so um for a small donation <laughs> yes everything's for a small donation yep because my time is money and money is time you feel me you said no small donations you put you put a lot of work of effort into it yeah for sure you're right you are so right i i did i did so we're gonna go ahead and get started so i'm going to start here and we're gonna start with number one these are this is my number ones okay this is number one i got a bunch of these so I'm going to be using a bunch of these. And then this is number two. And this is number three, the red. So this is what we're working on today. So let me go ahead and let me move two and three out the way for right now. And we'll slide this over. You said what? You said diamond art is so fun just i don't have room to do one yeah just yeah child i'm making space child that's what i'll be doing i ain't got no room either but look at me out here in these streets <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead and get started so what you do you kind of shake it up a little bit try to get these little wonderful things to turn over the right direction some of them have not but that's all right i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do one two three four five so i'm gonna start over here um so you notice there's plastic on top of here so i only pull back to the point where i'm going to be working on these so i'm gonna start here and i'm gonna grab more than my fair share here oops let's see if it'll let me oh, you gonna let me Child, this is being a little special. Come on. All right, let me start with one. Let's let's start there. Let's just start with one. Good gracious. It's being a little special. So we're going to start with one. Being that my big one's being a little special up here. Welcome in, welcome in. Anybody that's coming that I missed, feel free to hit the thumbs up if you haven't done so so far. Christy welcome in good to see you oh it just flipped right on over didn't it so we're starting off with number ones 
oops get in there get on in there there we go hi jazzy sims welcome in you said i am doing a diamond painting of an angel in green she looks so pretty oh that's what's up jazzy sims welcome in yeah so this is for a young lady who wanted this nice journal and i am doing this this is a nice uh i like it all right i'm gonna stop right there with the ones and i'm gonna start adding two threes and twos in here we're gonna get this corner taken care of we're gonna do this corner first so that's what we're doing here hey nana michelle welcome in good to see you thank y'all so much for coming in i appreciate it we got um christy is here and jazzy jazzy sims is here welcome in and nana michelle and came in the building you said what you said you too love i ha i saw a bunch of those at joanne's uh today on sale and an extra 20 percent off just stopped and got yarn okay well come on let's go that's awesome and then we got barbara barbara clark welcome in hey family feel free to hit the thumbs up if you haven't done so already all right this is my number ones here are my number twos i'm gonna slide number two over just a bit and we're gonna go ahead and grab a few threes because that's what's next on the on the docket let me bring this down some so y'all can see what's going on i don't know if you can see it all the way but we're gonna go ahead and get jiggy with it and now we're gonna bring in number two You can send me, um, send it to my email if you want to show me her. My email is in the description box below. Just copy and paste it because it's long, child. Send that email, send it there. And if you want me to show it, I will definitely show it. Just let me know when you send it and I will be on the lookout for it. And we'll do a quick show and tell while we are working on our items tonight. So yeah, that's two. So that's what we're doing. Now we're going back to ones. Okay, thanks Jazzy Sims, appreciate you. This is what we're doing tonight. Okay. All right, Jazzy. Now we're going to put threes back. We're back in the three realm here. Oh.
I hope y'all are having a wonderful night. I think I'm doing all right tonight. Even though my sinuses got me a little messed up, it's all good. Here we go. All right. So that's just a little bit there. And now we're going to bring in ones again. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna let me get these all shook up and see if I can get these turned around the right way. Diamond painting is cool too. Oh, well, you come on, you came along for the ride, so sit down on there. Here we go, we're gonna get them to sit down on there. Then. Now, as you can see, I have this um, plastic. I keep this plastic on it because this is the whole thing is sticky, and I only pull it back for the part that I'm gonna be working on. That's it. So, yeah. parts I'm going to be working on. And it's a bunch of these little ones, guys. I'm not even going to kid you. Which is just fine. to have this completed by tomorrow. I don't know if that's a lofty goal or not. By tomorrow night. Like I'll come back on and we'll work on this tomorrow. Let's see. Um, Oh, surprise company stopped by right now. Okay, looks like my craft chill time will have to be later or tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, we'll have a blessed night. Thanks for being here, Christy. Positive energy to all. Yes. Okay, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you stopping through. Enjoy your company for sure. All right. This is what we out here doing in these streets. Yep, so I'm getting all the ones together. Ooh. Let's get all these ones up here. to be hanging off like that that was weird okay here we go let me tell you something about diamond art i think it's a very nice craft if you lose your crow trail or whatnot 
and you want something else to do until your crow joe comes back do diamond art diamond painting it will definitely be a nice craft to try outside of our yarny space even though i love my yarny space i ain't gonna kid you yarn is life it just is it keeps me calm but this is also good as well also coloring in adult coloring books are good if you have an adult coloring book pull that out and get jiggy with that also what I used to do at my job and they can tell you this too Um, let's see, Kelly. I don't know what what wrong what's wrong here, but I can't find you. You can't find me. Okay, did, did you subscribe to my channel, Jazzies? Here, let me um drop my um here. This is my um email address, Kelly's Crochet at Adventures at gmail.com. Just copy and put that in your email, and uh, that's my email address. You can send it there, and then we'll go from there. Okay, Jazzy, I hope that helps. Sorry, I, I was uh, sorry, it took me a second to uh, see what's going on. You're like, oh no, she is diamond painting today. Yeah, just today. Because I got to get this out. Listen, Miss Gail, listen, Sister Gail, my dear friend. Yeah, someone had asked me for something like this, and I told them that I would do it for them for a small fee. And they said, hey, I would love to have a bedazzled journal. And I said, I got you. And so that's what I'm doing. And what better way to bedazzle a, a journal than this way? So it is a journal. I'll show you here in a second. I'll show you the inside in a second. Let me uh, get this part done before, before I get to the next section. This is sticking to that like that. Why are you being so disrespectful? We can't have no disrespectful little diamond art now. Come on. It's one thing for yarn to be disrespectful with the yarn barf and the tangling and all this. How you as a diamond gonna stick to the other one? Ain't nothing, nobody doing nothing to you over there. Yep. You said, I think she couldn't find you because she didn't see you crochet. Oh, I see, Gail. All right. Uh, no worries. No worries. Yeah, I'm usually crocheting, but listen, sometimes every, it's very rare, but you will see me doing diamond painting on here. You will. it, And it's usually these little journals because somebody may want one or I might be gifting one to somebody. Um... So yeah, you'll see me doing something like this every so often. Not a whole lot, but somebody had asked me for one, so here I am. For a small fee. Or so I'll say it this way, for a small donation. <laughs> for a small donation. All I'm going to do is uh, purchase more of these and then make them for people. Yep. You said, I want to do all the things too. You can, you can, Gail, you can. This is small. That's why I think you you could um, do this. This is not real big. It's not a gigantic picture or nothing. It's a small little journal. And you can find these if you want on Amazon.com. Just put in diamond paint and journal. And guess what? A bunch of little ones will pop up. 
yeah so I purchased probably like four of them and then I make them for people either like graduations birthdays whatever whatever the case may be and I, I try to bless people with with some so something like this if I don't you know crochet something I do something like this like you're gonna start a new job soon you want a nice little journal and that's what, I, what we do here I'm gonna show you the inside of this here oh oh I need some more wax on it Okay, so I need four and eight too. Okay, we'll get four and eight. Four and eight are pretty big. So I can grab those and stick these in the, this one as well. I can put four and eight in the same little tray. I got enough of these trays from other ones that I've done in the past, but I will definitely be purchasing more of these. All right, let me show you the inside of this. Yeah, this is a great a gift idea. So yeah, you get you um, one of these. That's, that's my little, and um, you can make. Let me show you the inside so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, but before I do that, let me make sure this is. I got this little roller. Make sure these is on here tight. We ain't fighting with no. Uh, diamonds coming off of here and they shouldn't anyway but anyway this is what it looks like on the inside it's a nice little memo who wouldn't love a bedazzled memo right who wouldn't want one of these let me bring it up just a little bit more who wouldn't want one of these right i love it i'm here for it let's see there we go i'm definitely here for this okay let me see i'm gonna take a little breakio from that and we're gonna look at what jazzy is working on let's see Oh, Jazzy, I haven't seen it yet. Let's see. Reply. Hi. Okay, you have to attach it. Hi, Jazzy. Mm. I'm going to send this back to you. So, you know, you got the right email address. You just got to attach it, okay? Um, Steve said, oh, wait. Nana Michelle says Steve Shaw tonight. Okay, we're going to see what Nana Michelle's out here doing, getting jiggy with it. Ooh, Nana Michelle, you better get jiggy with it, girl. Oh, that's so nice. I cannot wait to share this. Let me share what Nana Michelle out here doing in these streets, family. Let's see what she got going on. You said, ooh, I'm going to get that. Yeah, you can. You can't as small. You don't need that super big. You said just sent you two pictures of Steve Shaw. I'm working on tonight. A close up is for the beads, and then the regular picture if you wanted uh, some show and tell. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Nana Michelle. I think I might get one or two of those, Kelly. So pretty. Yeah. Hey, get you a couple, and hey, either make them for gifts or if somebody say, hey, I like that, and you don't, you know, like somebody told me they liked it. I was like, great. They they saw my nieces and they said they wanted one. I was like, I do not know that person. They shall have to pay. <laughs> and so that's what's going on. Mm -hmm. 
You said, and back. Okay, reheated up a slab of steak that no one ate the other day. Well, all right, let's get jiggy with it. Okay, let me show you what Nana Michelle out here doing in these streets because she out here getting jiggy with stuff. Let's go and share. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to start. Let's see, what should I start with? Nana Michelle, let me start with the... Um, the smaller picture so people can see and then I get into the details of it all yeah I'm gonna make it big as big as I possibly can so I can share this oh that's so pretty that yarn is pretty that yarn bee color child yes all right check it out fam check out what Nana Michelle is, is doing all right let's go ahead and share this can y'all see this let me see this is what Nana Michelle's working on, fam. Isn't that beautiful? Let me make it bigger so you can see. Isn't that absolutely adorable? And I love the beads. I'm gonna show the beads as well. I'm gonna show the beaded one. Isn't that beautiful, family? Isn't that beautiful? Yes, let's look at the beads close up. Let me go and get it. All right, let me go get it real quick. All right, this is the beadwork family. I'm gonna share it with you here. I'm just making it really big, as big as possible so you can see these beautiful beadwork. All right, here it goes. Isn't that beautiful? That is some beautiful bead work. Nana Michelle, you a rock star. You know that? You be getting jiggy with this right here. You be out here in these streets getting jiggy with it. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't that nice? Okay. All right, fam. You said, um, I hope you guys can see it. Okay, let me see. Um, let's go and see what she's doing tonight as well. Hopefully, Jazzy, you attached it. Um, Jazzy, you got attached. You didn't attach anything, hon. You just sent me an email. So what you have to do is you have to attach your the picture to the email, and then I should get that. But I don't see it yet. So resend it to me dear with uh, uh just make sure you attach it right find the attachment button and um send it that way okay yeah nana michelle's a rock star out here she a uh, rock star for real for real yes let's see Look at all the love in the chat. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She did. And she, listen, she good with them beads. I ain't even gonna kid you. Just wow. Yeah. Nana Michelle, you do lovely work. You say, yes, I love the Ra Rainbow Rhapsody. I wish Hobby Lobby didn't discontinue it. I know. Uh, the only other place I know you can get yarn that's similar to that would be uh, Hobby Lobby. Not Hobby Lobby. Oh, uh, shoot. Hobie. Hobie. All right, fam. Yes, Jazzy, when you get a chance, just resend that, dear, and I will definitely show it, okay? What I'm going to do, we're going to bring in number two. Let's get number twos in here. We're going to put twos all around here. Well, let me put... Yeah. Well, now I got to put twos here. Oh, I got to put threes in too. Let me do twos here real quick. Oops, I thought I had it on there. There it goes. That's twos. And let me grab the threes. Let's bring the threes around here so we can get those in. And then we'll get back to the ones and then I'll do the twos again. Get this corner taken care of as well. Three. And three.
Now, these um, journals, these diamond painting journals, they also come with blank pages inside. So I made one with blank pages inside and gave it to one of my nieces because she is an artist and she loves to draw. And I thought, what a nice, this could be a nice little sketch pad for her whenever she feels like doodling or whatever. I thought it would be a great idea to do that. And so that's what I did. Um, so I uh, made her one where all the pages was blank, meaning that there was no, it was blank like this. They, they all came just blank pages. But this one comes with dates and memo. So if you're interested in something like this, when you lose your crow gel, this is where diamond art comes into play. Oops. All right. I'm going to do, I got to do the ones. I'm going to finish these little ones. Then I'll get to the twos. But before I do the twos, I'm going to grab fours and eights and have them on standby. Yes. So we're going to get all these ones in here. I'm telling you, when I tell you, I got a lot of ones jumping off, child. You can see. All this is one, 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 all over the place. Let's see. Hey, Zach. Welcome in. Good to see you. <laughs> Steve said, lovely namesake, Nana. But you know what? I thought it was yours. Steve, I thought she was making it for you or it was your pattern. I don't know. Or Nana Michelle, did you make up that pattern? Is that your pattern? Oh, okay. Don't, hey, don't worry about it. 
don't worry about it, Jazzy. Hey, Jazzy, don't worry. Don't worry, dear. You, you all right. You all right, dear. Don't let this, child, don't let this place get you all out of sorts, okay? No, 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 no. Don't you, don't worry. We can see it later, girl. Listen, Jazzy, no. It's all right. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. Just don't, just, just maybe tonight's just a night for you to relax and just chill and either uh, work on your stuff or whatever you want to do. But don't, don't worry. We're going to see it soon. Okay. Okay. At least you got my email. You can send it whenever. Okay. So don't worry. Let's just have a great time tonight. All right. Yeah. I don't want you to worry. Okay. Don't be discouraged. And don't you be dismayed. Okay, Jazzy. Joy comes in the morning. Troubles, they don't last always. Amen. Amen. So don't even worry about it. All right. You good. You good. Amen, Jazzy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good night. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. We good. We gonna see it. I promise you. You said Kelly Ursula named it after me. Oh, okay. That's cool. You said with the new job, you're in bed by 10. Okay. Oh, congrats on the new job. Congrats on the new job. Yeah. I'm so happy you got it. You said, what? You helped her develop it. You helped her when she was having issues during the development of the pattern. Oh, that's so nice, Steve. You're a rock star. You know that. You are a rock star. Yeah. Okay, you said the uh, the pattern is from Owen Brandy Square. Yeah. I love it. Let's see. Yeah, for sure. She said, I understand, Jazzy. I have a frustration of level one. <laughs> level of one. Yeah, sometimes we be getting frustrated out here in these streets. I ain't even gonna kid you. It, it, it happens, but don't worry. You said, oh, I found an insane art artist for Mosaic. Oh, really? I will be getting as many of her patterns as I can because OMG, they are a delight to see. Okay, uh, Sven, Svetlana, Svetlana Rock, Rockata. Okay, you know what? Child, I will jack up that name. Okay, but I get it. <laughs> yeah, you said it's okay, Jazzy. Looking forward to seeing your angel another time. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. You said what? You said that would be an adjustment, Nana Michelle. And then you said it's my birthday today and didn't get frustrated. Oh, okay. Well let's 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 sing happy birthday to you. Huh? Happy birthday to uh, Jazzy, everybody. You said Kelly Jazzy needs some singing. Okay, we're gonna sing happy birthday to Jazzy. You said I woke on on, on a blanket. You working on a blanket right now? Oh, good job, Bernal. I love it. I feel like I can't pronounce her name. She has a robbery page. Listen, I'll be trying to pronounce stuff, child. I don't know what makes me think I'm that brave. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Jazzy. Yes, let's say happy birthday to Jazzy. You said I wouldn't be able to pronounce that either. Yeah, child, I don't look, look. I'm good at messing up names. You hear me? You hear me? Let's see. All right. Let me, uh, we're going to uh, put a pause on the music. And y'all, we're going to sing happy birthday because we got a birthday in the chat. It's Jazzy's birthday. We got to sing happy birthday. Um, You said, Bernal, you rock. Yeah. And you said, I can't pronounce it either. Yeah. that Hey, I ain't going to kid you, Zach. That was, that was rough. I tried it. Happy birthday, Jazzy, and God bless you. Okay, everybody, y'all ready to sing happy birthday to Jazzy? Let's go. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Jazzy Sims. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jazzy. Yes, amen and amen. Yes, happy birthday. And you said, laugh out loud. Here is the link to the pattern I plan on getting ASAP. Okay, everybody pull up that link. It's hard for me to get the link from here. For some reason in StreamYard, I can't do the link. You said, what? Doesn't sing. Yeah, wouldn't want to hear that. Laugh out loud, but have a good day. Good birthday. What? Doesn't... Oh, you said TS doesn't sing. Girl, honey, you all right. You all right. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Okay. You making a basket, Zach? That's awesome. That's so sweet, Kelly. Oh, no worries. Yeah, we, we sing happy birthday over here. We Hey, if I know it's your birthday, we singing it. We coming in hot with the happy birthday song. Hot. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh you said thank you so much it means uh, a lot to me you guys just don't know need need it so bad oh you all right jazzy sims girl honey we here for you you feel me all right so let me see where i need to go here all right i need to do two fours and eight so i'm gonna put fours and eights in this one okay i'm gonna grab some fours and eights and we're gonna drop them in here Let's see, where did I put, where did they go? Okay. Okay, fours and eights ain't real big. Eight is, okay. This eight right here. Okay, we'll, we'll be able to tell the difference between fours and eights. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I just need six eights. what this is what you doing in here come on you got to come on out oh i ain't cut that big enough oh these are big ones i gotta cut it bigger so everybody come on out i just need six. Oh. back i don't need all of them we just need six out here in these streets because eventually i'll need five and six but we're doing that and then we're gonna do four where's four? Oh, four pretty too let's get four out here you want to need six four one two three four five five four so here we go sit in here i told you this is big oh my gosh they're so big if i can just go ahead and flip them over by hand that'll be easy here we go all right so this is four and eight so i'm gonna set them over here well, we're going to get these twos. We're going to rock with these twos. Get these twos in here. Yes. Jazzy sending love. Yeah, for sure. Happy birthday, Jazzy. Mine was April the 3rd. Wait. What's today? Did we sing happy birthday to you, Michelle Morgan? Child, I don't be remember. You got to help me. If we didn't, we got to sing happy birthday to you. I was thinking we might have, but I don't know. Did we sing happy birthday to you? That was Thursday. Let's see. Um, yeah, I had to hunt down that mosaic pattern. Spent an entire day just about drooling over all of them. Oh, really? What? Yes. 
Happy belated birthday, um, Michelle Morgan. Yes, happy belated birthday. Girl, did we sing to you? I can't remember. Oh, a belated birthday to you, Michelle. You said, I hope you had a lovely day. Yes, hope your day was amazing. You said, I haven't bought the pattern yet because I need 10,000 yards of yarn. I can't find that much yarn at a decent price in the colors I want to use since uh, Joanne's is empty. Oh, okay. It was on Wednesday. I don't think so. Oh, girl, we got to sing happy birthday to you too. Hey, y'all. We got to sing happy birthday to Michelle Morgan. Ain't no way we going to go this day without singing happy birthday to Michelle Morgan. Hey, Teddy. Teddy, you can go downstairs. Teddy. Hey, stop. Go on downstairs. Go on. Stop it or go lay down. Go lay down. He's being a little grumpy little dog. Teddy. Stop. Stop it. Go lay down. Teddy. Teddy, stop. He being a little disrespectful, guys. Don't worry me about me and my little dogs over here. But we gonna sing happy birthday. You said, um, well, happy b birthday to all us Aries. Yeah. Let's sing happy birthday to Michelle Morgan. You ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Michelle Morgan, even though it's on April the 3rd. Uh, <laughs> happy birthday, girl, honey. <laughs> I hope you had a great day. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful day all right family we're gonna get back into this wonderful diamond painting we gonna get jiggy with it all right so let's go all right we're gonna start with blues blue we're gonna do blue blue blues and then we're gonna get to the fours and the eights Yep, that's what we doing in these streets. Okay, that's a two. go let's see uh oh oh shoot there we go okay oh you are welcome you are welcome michelle morgan you said many happy returns yes you laughing in these streets ts all right You say you're working on a shawl that needs to be restarted. I kind of did it too round and it turned into a basket. <laughs> oh, Zach. Sometimes that be happening, child. 
you are right sometimes we got to redo some stuff sometimes it be like that it be like that sometimes don't worry though you good I watched a movie with my husband earlier today. It was good to sit down and watch it. We we don't get to watch movies much. There don't be stuff on. So I watch I still have Netflix. So I'm contemplating getting rid of it. But we watched uh, this movie called The Little Things. I think that's what it's called. It was a movie with Denzel Washington and it was an interesting movie. I was like, dang. This movie is crazy. get a chance to check it out it's not it's, it's bad what happened but um he's a police officer in that movie It was a crazy movie, but I'm good on it. I'm like, hmm. It just made me go, hmm. That's what it made me say, hmm. <laughs> Some movies you just be like, okay. That's how I was with that one. Like, I like Denzel Washington as an actor. I think he's a good actor. Would I watch that movie again? Nah. So I don't like movies like that really that much. But my husband, he likes movies like cop movies that are suspenseful. So it's kind of like that. And they be trying to find like people who dis, who, you know, that be unaliving folks or whatever. So he was looking for a, a serial person. That's what they was looking for. You said I'm giving it a shot attempt. Uh, you said it just didn't work out. That's all. Oh yeah, attempt one. I'm giving it a shot attempt one. Okay, just didn't work out. That's all. Yeah, you good. You good, Zach. No worries, buddy. For sure. Sometimes, listen. You have no idea how many stuff I had to rip out and start over. And sometimes I still do that. I rip it all the way out because I may not, I may not feel like it's going the right, or it may not be going the right way. I have to just rip it out and start over. But I do it at a time where I'm like, you know what? We're gonna have patience with ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna be patient. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be patient. flip back over what are you doing 
So now I'm gonna do eight and four. We're gonna get eight and fours on here. You see them. Um, eight and fours are big, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to use a big one to get that. That's a big one. Let's see. Uh oh. Let me pick up the okay just get in there and see if it'll let me pick it up there we go eight is big i tell you Ooh, get in there there we go uh oh don't knock that over Eight is huge, family. Look how big that is. And then... Mm-hmm. Don't be disrespectful. right okay and then we get the other one This one in here. All right. Let's see. Push this over just an easy. Here we go. All right. Looks like we get all those in there, right? This is the only one I, I think is a little bit wonky. in there, right? Let's turn it a little bit. There we go. And there it is. Alright. There they are. There they are. Pretty diamonds, I'll tell you. And then let me put number fours in there. Let's get these fours in there. One. Uh-oh. We'll come back and get him. Two. one and then we're gonna get this one 
flip me back over, buddy. There we go. Now we'll put them right here. There we go. So make sure we'll put them there. Nice and tidy. There we go. All right, so we got the top part is done. All right, enough of the fours. Then we'll get the fives next. All right, so I'm um, gonna take a little break, yo, and we're gonna stop by and we're gonna see. You said Kelly send two pictures of my diamond painting. Please go look. I promise you I will. You said laugh out loud. I was trying to send it from YouTube. Oh. Nope, don't say that about yourself. You are not that. You are a beautiful, brilliant person. <laughs> Sometimes stuff just come out a little different. That's all. Let's see what we got, Jazzy. Uh, I got some mail coming. Man, they just be dropping off. Uh, Okay, here they go. Oh, here they go. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. Hold on. Oh, those are pretty. Okay, let me show y'all what Jazzy sent us. We're going to show the angel first. Because the angel is just adorable. Too. Let me make it as big as I possibly can. Oh, that's cute. All right. All right, guys. Y'all ready to see um, Jazzy's picture of the angel? I am. Let's go get it. Share. All right. Here's the angel, everybody. Isn't she adorable? I love it. Yes, that's nice. I love it. That is so nice. Absolutely adorable. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you for saying that, Zach. No one is stupid, guys. Don't don't ever call yourself that, okay? Because you're not that. mistakes happen it's just it's the way of life yeah but anyway let's talk about it how beautiful is that i try to make it bigger i don't know if that's too big i, I couldn't tell it might be too big but anyway i just wanted to show this as big as possible but it is adorable she cute but all right let me show you the other one that she sent as well that is too cute. Oh, this is cute too. Oh, wow. I love it. Let me see if I can. This one, I might have to make a little bit smaller so we can see the whole thing, okay? But look at this. Look at this family. Jazzy out here getting jiggy with it. Hold up. Let's go get Jazzy's. Here, here she go, the other picture. Isn't that cute, family? Oh my goodness. I love it. You do good work. You do good work. I love it. Let me see what happens when I make it big. I feel like I will miss it. Oh, it's pretty. I love all the sparklies. You know, I'm here for I'm here for all the bling, fam. That's just point blank and period. <laughs> yeah you did good work i love it thanks for sharing those jazzy absolutely adorable mm -hmm, those are cute 
You said what? Look, everybody's like, wow, yeah. See, we love it. It is adorable. Yeah. Absolutely adorable. You said I did about 15 of the ladies. Wow, you did. Wow, you busy. You a busy lady. You a busy lady. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah. That's nice. Are you doing them for any um anyone in particular, Jazzies? Are you doing them for anyone in particular? A special occasion or are you just making a lot of them? Um, Do you have an event coming up or anything like that? Oops, I said sorry in the email. I didn't even realize they were on. Oh, no worries. Bravo, yeah. He said, no, I am making a big book for me. Oh, that's cool. Jazzy, I know only one person that is perfect, and that is Jesus. Amen. He said, this is the only thing that keeps me relaxed, right? Keeps me relaxed right now. Oh, no worries, Jazzy. Yeah, I totally understand. That's really good. Cool, Jazzy. Yeah. You said, hey, I agree, Gail. I love him so much. He is good to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. Loved it. Love to hear it.
Oh, that would be nice. Jazzy. Okay, Gail, we will definitely keep you lifted up in prayer and we'll keep your daughter lifted up in prayer as well. Yeah. For sure. For sure, for sure. I'm glad you're going to go see her. That's a blessing that you can do that. Does um, your daughter do any type of art? Does she like any kind? You think she would like diamond painting? Or something like that? I don't know, just asking. So I know sometimes when we struggle with stuff, working with art can be a help. That's for sure. And doing diamond painting like this is really helpful. Or adult coloring or anything like that that can help with our mental space. That's for sure. get her some diamond painting yeah why not i think hey you know what would be nice being that you get to be there you know maybe you guys can do something together you know what i mean like if you can get something like this like you can get it come to your house quick <laughs> um be like hey let's work on some diamond painting like she have her own set you have your own and you work on it together and you guys can chill and just relax and do these together and talk you know what i mean you like how do you like this this is fun it's like we're gonna do some fun stuff today this will be fun just a just a thought
Oh, looks like I gotta pull up some number fives here. Coming in hot, family. With the number fives, eventually. That's cool, Gail. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, these journals are nice, I'm telling you. I like it because it's something small that you can get done quickly. Instead of having a big old gigantic picture to do, you do something like this. get to say hello to and those that are in the chat and those that are in the bushes you just here just looking lurking all the lurkers i love that y'all are here hanging out seeing what we out here doing So I just pull this back. I only pull it back just to work on the section because this whole thing is sticky. So if you've never done diamond painting before, you don't want to don't pull the whole plastic off. Just don't it because it's sticky. So you want to just pull back to the point where you use, you know, you're working on your project. Special too. Here we go. Raven, what you doing? Raven over here, Brian. She's rolling over. She starts chasing her tail. She likes to do that a lot. Teddy. Teddy. 
Teddy, go downstairs. Teddy, hey, Teddy. He don't pay me no attention. Hey, Teddy, cut it out. Go on downstairs. Hey, Teddy, go downstairs with Papa Jimmy. Or go lay down. You got a choice. Go lay down or go downstairs. He is hard-headed, I promise you. I, feel, I promise you, the older my dog gets, the more stubborn he gets. He's like, I'm the oldest in this house. I do what I want to. Hey, Glow, Miss Glow, is that you? Girl, I didn't see you come in. Hey, Miss Glow. Miss Gloria, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. Sorry, I missed you coming in. Sometimes these waxes, it'll get on here. It'll get on my project. Teddy, lay down. Thank you. Good gracious. Welcome in, Miss Glow. I'm glad you made it too i'm working on diamond uh this journal for my um for a lady who saw my nieces and she wanted one so i'm making this one for her for a small fee of course but um yep i just took a little break yo from crochet just tonight and possibly well definitely tomorrow because looks like i'll be working on this tomorrow because these yellows Listen, these number ones, there's a bunch of number ones out here. I'm telling you what. I feel like I'm going to be out here forever working on this. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, I love pineapple upside down cake. Or pineapple cake. It's really good. Yes. All right. 
right, let me see if I can get number five in here. Let's see, that's... Let's see, five is a little bit bigger than... Well, it's smaller than... It's smaller than a four, but bigger than two and three. So I'm going to put some fives in here. this wide over. Let her open. There we go. upside down cake hook me up I'm here for it Let's see two three four five six nine I know just get to one another in here Okay, hopefully that'll be enough. Just to get... Alright. We just want to get them all flipped over. Flip over. Oh man, I'm a horrible flipper over of these. Come on. That's enough for now. Let's go ahead and put these number fives on here. You like pineapple on your pizza? You said, is Teddy passing on his misbehaving vibes? Enya just started to scratch my chair. She never does that. Yeah, Teddy's passing on the vibes, honey. Sorry about that. He can be quite disrespectful. Plus, he's getting older. He's getting um, really... Uh, stubborn in his older age he said he's the older one, oldest one in here so I guess he'd feel like he can do what he want to do I'm like why are you doing me like that teddy bear I love my teddy bear but child he be out here doing the daggone most This morning, he was chasing me around the house. I was like, oh, we playing? That's what we doing? And I started chasing him back. And Gizmo's like, chase me too. So I'm up here chasing after dogs in the house this morning. For what? Child, I don't know. I just need one to turn over. That's all. Just one. There we go. So it's coming along, fam. I mean, it is pretty. Beautiful. All right. So I got to do more ones. I'm telling you what. I ain't out of ones. It just looks like I'm empty here. But trust me, I got to lie. Little dogs that are loved like yours are like that. Oh, is that what that is? You said, what a puppy moment. Girl, he be doing it. Like if Raven, I, if I tell her I'm coming up here to go live, she be like, oh, let me get my toy. I'll be right back. So she go grabs a toy. She's like, we going upstairs? Oh, shoot. Yes. Raven be all for it. She'll go get a toy and she'll run up, come up here with her toy. If I tell him I'm going to work, the look in those eyes 
I said, I got to go to work. They'd be like, what? You work at home. What you doing? What you talking about? You got to go somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, those are my little, my little dogs. They, they something else. They go outside and bark at absolutely nothing. Teddy be starting and he's the ringleader. He just random just he's like, let's go outside and potty. We go outside and he thinks the neighbor's dog is like, if he thinks the neighbor's dog is outside, he just start barking. I was like, Teddy, he's not out here. He goes, oh, but just in case. <laughs> I'm like, ain't no just in my just in case. I'm like, well, boy, you better go out here and do your business. Ain't no just in case. He letting the world know that he is the king of all dogs. I'm like, you're you're little. He's the smallest one out of but out of all of them. We got the biggest mouth when we go outside. It's ridiculous. And Gizmo, she has no clue what she barking at. She go, oh, we barking? Yes. I'm a bark too. I'm like, and she does. She jumps around like, what? We barking? And then she'll start barking. She'll look around just like that. I'm like, girl, do you know what you're talking about? She's the youngest of the bunch. She don't even know what she's talking about. She just be random. Just random for no reason. Now, Raven, on the other hand, She's scared of big dogs, so she barks at them just because. If she sees one, she's like, oh, I'm going to give you the business. And if they get close, she starts acting like she, she starts whining, bar- whine barking, like <laughs> like she's scared to death they're going to come and get her. She's like, you better stay off over there. <laughs> I'm like, girl, them dogs ain't thinking about you. And they just be looking at them like, those little dogs, what are, what are those? <laughs> My neighbors got big dogs, and my dogs are like the like the heaviest one is fourteen pounds, and that's Raven. Teddy is the all of he fluctuates between eight and ten pounds. He well nine and ten mostly nine and ten pounds. He fluctuates. Gizmo might be about maybe 10 pounds And so my dogs are considered watchdogs, and that's exactly what they do. They stand outside and they just look. And they be watching. And if something be off a little bit, they be like, huh, let's talk about it. And they make a big fuss about it. And they're like, bro, that's a trash can. Why you, you know today's trash day, right? <laughs> Why are you barking at that trash can? It's, you know, or it's recycle day. Oh, someone chose to join me. Come on. You coming over here? She right here. This Raven. I don't know if you can see her face. Hello. Let me see if I can bring her over here. Because she wants to sit closer, I think. Oh, he will be, your great thing will be afraid of my little dogs, because they give them big dogs the business they be talking about. And Raven, she's scared of big dogs, so that that's a match made in heaven right there, ain't that right? She'll bark at them. But then she, she'll bark at the big dogs. But she's scared of them too, so. Ain't that right, Raven? Say, I'm scared. Tell them, say, I'm scared to life of big dogs. The bigger they are, the worse it is for my life. And you have to say it out loud, don't you? 
You got to bark all about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. She's something. That's that's Raven right there, guys. She wants to join the party and just stare at me. She just wants to stare at me. It's fine. It's fine, family. <laughs> She gonna go, cool. she laying down. All right, let's get this side. Raven, they're saying hello to you. You wanna say hi? She's like laying down there like, well. Hey there, welcome in. 
Angela Precious World, thanks for being here. You said one of my dogs was was Amigo. He sure was. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, we talked about that. Your uh, dogs being afraid of little dogs. Yeah, it's crazy when you got big dogs that be afraid of little dogs. You know what I mean? I think she's knocked out on the chair though right now, Gail. She said, I think she was trying to say hi earlier. <laughs> hey there, dear. How's Precious, uh, Angela Precious World doing? Teddy, Teddy, stop, go on, go lay down, go lay down or go downstairs, go on, go on downstairs, why don't you do that, that'll be good, yeah, he said, nope, I'm, I think I'll lay down, <laughs> he be out here doing too much, There's Stacy May. Welcome in. We're doing a diamond painting today only because I'm taking a small break from crochet. Has somebody that um, requested one of these from me. And I said I would do that. And so it's all my nieces. I made one for my niece and they said I want one. Of course you do. I said for a small fee, so that's what I'm doing. Making this real quick. I did one for my niece for um why did I make her one? Was it for her birthday or just because? It could have been just because, y'all. I don't know. I think for her business, I think I made one for her so she can take notes and she likes this little journal. It's a, it's, it's dated. It's, it's like a memo. Thank you. 
thank you. <laughs> That's funny, Nana Michelle. Yeah, and you and you've been listening to Teddy's ministry over here. <laughs> Y'all, I got to tell y'all something. It's funny, but it's not funny. Uh, you know, my dogs sometimes think they're cats. So Raven and her special self decided she was going to fall asleep on the couch, at the top of the couch, on the back of the couch, right? So she laying up there. You know, she fell off the... I was like, girl, you can't do that. She fell behind the couch. Yes, she did. Because my couch is not up against a wall or anything. She fell behind the couch. And she got up like, hey, what happened? It's like, girl, <laughs> that junk was... I was like, what? First, I was scared. Like, are you all right? She was okay. But, I was, man, that scared me. And then I started cracking up. It's like, you don't need to be falling my dogs my dogs that are dogs that think they're cats sometimes it's crazy 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 I know I was like <laughs> how you just she just gonna fall she's like it was like boom I was like what the heck this joker fell right behind the couch I was like my good gracious but she is all right. She came out like, I'm good. Nothing to see here. Uh, it's all good. We're coast is clear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. keep telling them they not cats I'm like you are a dog oh I gotta tell y'all something I don't know if you think it's funny or not but y'all know I, I've been crazy you know I'm how can I say as I've grown older I am a lot more chill than I used to be um but and I, you know I'm, I'm like five three and one fourth right I'm taking the one fourth. I'm just telling you. Okay. So I'm five three and one fourth. And uh, years ago, when I worked at my job, <laughs> and um, we work with some really cool people. I work with a lot of cool people. And one of my coworkers, well, she had went to school. They went to no, they they were from the same town. Like the the I meant to jog for no reason other than I tripped. Yeah, that part. <laughs> mm hmm So what happened was, I gotta tell you this, this is crazy. But um Y'all know when I when I'm outside, I literally think that I am nine feet tall. I mean, I don't absolutely think I'm nine feet tall but I feel like when I when I walk downtown and stuff I I'm taller I, I walk with confidence with my head up and I ain't taking no stuff from nobody that's gonna think they're gonna come up on me okay so but anyway I had to preface that right so one day we were at work me and my friend she she grew her and this one guy they they grew up in the same neighborhood and he worked in a different city in Ohio. They were from the same place. And so uh, me and my friend, we get in the elevator and he gets in the elevator too. Now, I'm going to tell you, this dude is about, he looks like a linebacker, football player, big dude, about 6'2". I give him about 6'2". He might be 6'3". I don't know. He was tall and big. That's all I know. But remember, I'm 9 feet tall. Okay? 
just I know I'm five three and one fourth. I know what it looks like. So anyway, we get on the elevator, and he's bothering my coworker, and she said, "Leave me alone." And he just kept bothering. She's like, "Look, leave me alone." And when she said it the third time, I had enough. So you know what I did? I jumped on this dude's back in the elevator, guys. Yes, I did. I was like, she said, leave her alone. And I jumped on his back. (laughs) And he had on one of those uh, down jackets. You know those down jackets? They real slippery. They they have like lines, like uh, sewed lines. Um, like it's like a puff jacket so I jumped on his back I said she said leave it alone so I jumped on his back guys and guess what I slid off of his back and fell backwards as the elevator doors were opening <laughs> and I was like oh, nothing to see here he just looked down at me so, and he stuck his head on there you need me to help you out? I'm like, no, I don't need you to help me out. You need to leave people alone. <laughs> Nothing to see here. And then that's what I say. And then I get up and walk out with my friends. Yeah. You did what? That's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I did. Exactly what I did because I was like I don't know why I feel like I'm the protector of all people but y'all I did that I said what is wrong with me that man could probably smash me to smithereens and I jumped on his back like I got this man he was like okay little lady you know like let me let me help you out (laughs) yeah big linebacker dude so you know what a linebacker is they play football they real big they the big ones that be yeah he was big like that matter of fact he did play football in college he was huge he was big he was one of you just look up and be like what you doing way up there how you and how you that big though (laughs) listen I know I, I listen Margaret I get it I get it I get it I get it I'm better now I'm better <laughs> oh, I'm crazy I'm crazy like that I was crazy but I was protecting my friend she said no he didn't he act like he didn't hear she said it three times I've had enough and I even said leave her alone I said she said leave her alone <laughs> I was like leave my friend alone and I jumped on his back. That joke was funny. When I slid off his back and fell out the ele- elevator backwards, that joke was hilarious. I was like, oh, 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 I wasn't expecting to be down here. I don't even know what I was, what was I even doing jumping on a grown man's back? Who does that? Who does that? I tell you who. Me, thinking I'm the protector of all people. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Yeah. I'm I'm special. I ain't even gonna kid y'all. That was in my younger years. I still work at the same place. Same. <laughs> oh gosh, that junk was funny. Hi, Moon uh, Rose Crafts. You're doing a... Hey, everyone. Hi, Stacey. I'm doing a pop-up live in 15. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for sharing that, Moon Rose. Um, Welcome in. But I just thought uh, I'd share that story with you. Why? Because
have anybody done anything crazy like that in their lives? Or am I the only crazy one in the, in the chat? <laughs> am I the only crazy one out here? I mean, that did crazy stuff. I mean, that was insane. Yes, I was married at the time. Yes, I was. I don't know why I did that. I would, but I can't stay long. But I'm just doing my announcements. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for sharing, Moon Rose. Appreciate you. You said you plead the fifth. Okay, you ain't got to tell nobody. You ain't got to tell us, girl. I get it. I get it. Listen. I am special. So, that part. I don't know what it was like. I don't know why it was like that, though. I don't know why I was like that. Um, I haven't done anything like that since. Let me think. Have I? Nope, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't done anything like that since. So, yeah. said in California you can't be like that you can have a drive-by yeah I know I'm here in Ohio child <laughs> yeah I know I, I probably I probably could never mind <laughs> I probably wouldn't be I don't know I can't even call what, what I would be like I'll probably be my regular self and I would probably have be different I would mind my manners probably. But for some reason. But we was in the elevator at work. There ain't wasn't nobody packing back then. If you know what I mean. We was at work. It wasn't like I was outside in front of a bunch of people. No, I was in a place of business. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? You feel me? I was in the place of business in an elevator and wasn't nobody in there but three people my friend me and that big linebacker dude <laughs> that's it and when I fell out the elevator it wasn't a whole bunch of people in the lobby because we were going down to the lobby right on the first floor or whatever wasn't nobody down there it was lunchtime so it was all good I don't know why I thought I was big and bad enough to do that though
but yeah I wouldn't do that stuff now that that's crazy I was crazy I just wow and you know that was that wasn't even and that was after I've been saved Lord what was I thinking I'm like I was like Peter chop off the ear ask questions later I was like Peter I'm talking about in the Bible. You say, yeah, here in Cali, folks are on another level for sure. Yeah, listen, we got some special people here too. But remember, I was not outside. I was inside of an elevator. This, you said, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. I'm telling you the truth. I'm like, I was like Peter. Chopping off ears, asking questions later. Listen, I was trying to help my friend. But I definitely wouldn't do that now for sure. I know how to behave. Yes, really. Really, really. I'm telling you. The way he asked you if you needed a hand up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're like, can he help me up? I was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I was like, why couldn't he just leave my friend alone? What, what he was doing in the elevator. Okay. He was like, like pushing on her just play, he was just playing right and she was was not in the mood she wasn't in the mood i was like she said leave her alone now remember this is when i was in my how old was i how old was i i was in my late 20s late 20s like 26 27 something like that <laughs> yeah I wouldn't do that now child I'm 54 <laughs> I ain't jumping on nobody's back not even my husband's I ain't got that to do child I ain't, I ain't jumping too far I just jump on my trampoline that's all I got that's all that's the only jumping I'm gonna be doing <laughs> I ain't jumping on nobody's back. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure I wouldn't be doing nothing crazy. I don't do crazy stuff out in nobody's streets. No. But he did ask if he if I needed help getting up. I'm like, no. And I was like, nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Gizmo, Gizmo and Teddy, they are, they up and out and about. Oops. Hey, I have my friends back. I for sure. <laughs> Michelle, you laughing? It's it's crazy. I know, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that now. I mind my manners. Like I said, I'm too grown for that now. I'm, I'm way more mature. Listen, I was new in Christ back then too. I was still new in Christ, but like I said, I love the Lord, but honey, don't come for my friends. <laughs> Cause I thought, wow, crazy. Yeah, I was always the protector of my friends, always. I don't know why I thought I needed to be that. And I'm the shortest of all of my friends. 
Yep. I got friends that is like six feet tall, right? My good friend is like six foot tall. Now, what I look like trying to protect a six foot tall lady? <laughs> look like she played basketball for the WNBA. And here I come. Like, I got your back. She'd be like, girl, okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's funny. That's funny to me. Yeah, I'm like a chihuahua. Absolutely. Stacy May, you get me. <laughs> Absolutely. I was. I'm not like that no more. I'm not like that no more. I ain't like that no more. I still do protect my friends, though. I ain't going to kid you. I still got your back. If somebody try to come for you, I'm coming. I got you. But not, not Chihuahua style, though, no more. But I was like that when I was back then. I wasn't like a Chihuahua. <laughs> a Chihuahua. Kelly the Chihuahua. Mm-hmm. And I, oh, and my friend that was in the elevator... She was like 5'9". <laughs> oh gosh, I got issues. Loaded. <laughs> Loaded. Yep. So you are a good friend. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Like if somebody try to come for y'all, I got y'all. Well, listen, I got to tell y'all this too. I work downtown and working downtown, it, listen, you can't, you can't be a uh, mild work walking downtown, especially working downtown. If you got to walk to your car and stuff, you can't just be like, no, I walk like I'm nine feet tall outside. I'm like, I wish you would to all who think they coming for me. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've had enough encounters downtown. Trust me, I've had enough encounters downtown. And people downtown be crazy. So I make them think I'm as crazy as they are. <laughs> hey, I'm not scared to do that. Because it'll save your life. I'm telling you. Trust me. They'll think twice about trying to take your purse or. Or doing it. If you make them think you crazy. They ain't gonna mess with you. I made them jokers think I was crazy. Downtown. I don't mind. I don't mind putting on a show. I don't mind jumping around looking crazy. I bet you they ain't going to take my purse. Yeah. One time, the first encounter I had with people downtown, um, these guys, me and my one co-worker, we was walking to our car, and we were like in, in the park area, right? So it's like a bunch of grass. It's a big field. And so we were walking through that field, and uh, these homeless guys started walking up on, walking up on us. I was like, "Uh, uh-uh. uh, no, yeah." I was like, "What y'all want? What do you? What do you want?" He's like, "I just want to know what time it is." I said, "Not walking up on us like that, you don't. You can ask us from way over there if you want to know what time it is. I tell you, but don't you, don't you walk up on us. We don't do that. You don't do that. That's disrespectful. You don't get in people's personal space. Now, mind you, I'm five three and one fourth. <laughs> But that's how I get down. I don't play that. I don't play with downtown. Mm-mm. You have to walk tough. If you don't, you can get you can get got. 
and I bet you ding dang it I'm gonna get them before they get me that's how I feel about it I you know you walk around you walk by a bunch of homeless camps and stuff like that listen you can't be soft you just can't (laughs) he's a chihuahua (laughs) Stacy May you right they won't go mess with my friend and they won't go mess with me either they won't go get my space they won't go hey 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 back up back up chief what you want (laughs) you have to be you have to be now just because you know you have to walk <clears throat> excuse me walk tough downtown don't mean that you can't be kind to people so i mean i walk tough and then and then you know there's some homeless people down there somebody said hey can you uh, get me something and i'm like yeah you wait right here and i go get it for you okay uh, and i did stuff like that but i ain't gonna have nobody walking up on me i tell you that you better back up you too close i don't know you like that i don't know people like that i don't know what they're gonna do you just can't you can't be too sure you can't be too sure family but you can't walk outside like you scared until I talk to people too like like you we know each other or whatever like I know them I know you ain't coming over here what right or like like these dudes was laughing at me because I I have um <laughs> I have uh, started riding my bike to work so what I did was um I would park in a free spot which was far away from my job but then I would ride into work because we had bike racks inside my job so I was like, oh, this would be a great way to get exercise and make it to work. Well, I never considered that it would rain on <laughs> while I'm oh gosh. You see what I'm saying? That part. I didn't think it was going it's gonna rain while I'm riding my bike to work. Man, I was you said I was so upset at a uh, doctor last year. He asked me if I was going to hit him. I'm 5'2 and shrinking. <laughs> what, Gail? Yeah, see, we tough little. But he thought you was going to hit him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. What you going to hit a doctor for now? Come on, Doc. Yeah, I don't, I don't do that stuff. Ain't nobody gonna hit nobody. We ain't hitting. We ain't hitting no folks, guys. You said my mom bought a guy a large pizza, salad, chicken wings, and a soda one time. The guy started crying and sobbing. He had not eaten in three days. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a blessing. Yeah. I mean, see, we. It's cool to help people because, you know, as long as, you know, for me, I go get the food and bring it to them. I don't give them money like that. It is bad out there. It is. It is bad. You And if you can help somebody, help somebody. Except, for, you know, if it wasn't for the grace of the most high, there go we, right? There go I. That could be me. So even though I walk tough downtown, I still help people. They sell those like newspapers. Some of them be selling newspapers. They like like charity newspapers. I buy them, but I don't want the newspaper. So I just give them money. I was like, no, bless somebody else with the paper. I don't want it. But I give them money like here. I don't want a paper, but I will give you money. To bless somebody else with a paper, right? So that's what I would do. 
or feed somebody downtown except for there was two people I didn't feed one dude who said he didn't want he wanted the money and he wanted to get the sandwich himself and I said look no sir I'm going to go in here and I'm actually going in and get now if you want something to eat I get it he said never mind what because he didn't want them he didn't want it he wanted for something else I was like I thought you was hungry he told me he was hungry I was like sir I'm not doing that I will feed you I will clothe you I will not supply you with addiction money no no we not doing that so what I would do on Earth Day for my job me and my friend we started a craft club at work and I, we taught people how to make mats for the homeless mm-hmm with uh, the plastic grocery bags yep and so I had the agency yeah the agency making sleeping bags for the homeless or sleep mats to lay on for the homeless who were interested come on their lunch hour and learn how to make mats for the homeless I call them um yeah plarn mats that's exactly what we did yeah we are just one slip up from living on the street ourselves that's right so we want to be a blessing to those that we can be a blessing to There's ways we can be blessed and make hats and scarves and bless them with stuff like that. Bless them with something to eat if you can. Some places now it's against the law to feed the homeless, which is crazy to me. How is it against the law to feed somebody? They don't want nobody feeding the homeless. I don't get that. In some states. Yeah, I don't know what states. I know it's not like that here, but they don't want people feeding homeless people, which is crazy. I was like, that's insane. What is wrong with you people? If you ain't gonna help them, somebody got to help them. Right? If, if, you understand what I mean? Still gotta be a blessing. I don't know why it's like that in this world, but we still want to be a blessing to people. Is that right? said if someone is hungry and I can help them even a little by giving them food I am going to do that against the man made laws or not me too TS ain't nobody think yeah I don't understand who made that law that was crazy yeah you get in trouble now if you want to feed the homeless it's crazy so this world is jacked up I'm like y'all ain't helping them so why can't we help them 
and they got rid of a lot of programs that help homeless people too which is crazy I know they did here I was like that don't make no sense and then we got which causes like if people um, have a mental it some mental issues they have programs for those and then they cut those programs and then you get more homeless people on the street and it's like the duh y'all what are y'all doing be a help to the community not a don't hurt hurt the people yeah me too uh ts i'm not kidding i'm gonna feed people if somebody need to eat i'm gonna feed them that's it and that's all yeah i guess i'll get in trouble man Making hats and making masks and stuff, and just giving them to random people. I see outside, it's always fun, always a blessing to be a blessing. Always, um, you know, talk to them, kind of get to know them a little bit. So when they see me walking down the street, they be like, Hey, I'll be like, Hey, how you doing? Yep, they're people too. They are people too. We got to be okay with that, understanding that people are people. So you gotta you gotta be a blessing. I'm gonna keep being a blessing. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep being a blessing. Because if it wasn't for the grace of God, then I'd be, right? We all could be in that situation. And I would want somebody to do for me. If somebody can help me, I would want that. As well. you can't even donate handmade items to places here anymore all they want is you to give money yeah so they can spend it yes you said i am like nope because that money gonna end up in someone else's spot yes they did the same thing here i was given to um every year i donate uh i did something where i donated hats gloves scarves for children for um franklin county children's services and when covid happened they uh, was like send gift cards we need money i said but if the kids cold <laughs> what's that gonna do if they need a hat right now or if they need a scarf right now what's that gift card gonna do right then nothing they want to just give them gift cards. That don't make no sense. When I could make a whole hat and scarf and get some gloves, and we can provide those to all the people that need them, right? And so that's what we would do. And then they, they just want us to send money. Gift cards. I'm like, y'all tripping. Because gift cards can't be tr- tracked like that either. So I was like, man, no, nah, I'm good. Blessings to you, Margaret O'Day. Have a blessed night, dear. Thanks for hanging out with me and me telling you my crazy story about me at work. <laughs> I don't do that stuff no more. That was way back. And the dude, I jumped on his back. Guess what, guys? He still work at the agency. And we cool. We are cooler than the fan. He'd be like, what's up, kid? I'd be like, no, what's going on?
like, what's happening, buddy? entertaining angels or not Jesus is my that's right you never know you never know who's who's in your presence you don't know if you're entertaining angels you don't know that I don't give money. For one, I hardly have any money myself. Yeah. I understand that. Right now, I know I have budgetary constraints. Um, me and my husband started the business, and sometimes this is a slow part of the season for him, and it's like, ooh, <laughs> brother, man. <laughs> we and we gonna be all right, but I'm like, woo wee. Mm-hmm. I'm like, woo wee. is coming out nice family I mean little by little it's coming out nice
you said for our next winter i'm hoping to give out beanies to the people that are standing on corners in lexington at the stop stoplights yeah mm -hmm. that would be a blessing that would be a blessing You said I feel so bad for those people in bad weather. Me too. Yeah. I feel bad like that as well. Yep. I don't like seeing people have us having to stay in bad weather like that.
said, my daughter in Ohio, when she was little, she used to cry when she saw homeless people. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad. number five right there. Okay. I don't know what you I'm going to go see. She was like, nope, just going to go lay down. Oh. coming along on your projects pretty good leaving me a message what do y'all do it i hope y'all do it good y'all work it towards y'all's projects or y'all just in chill mode as i'm meandering through this hope to be done with this by sometime tomorrow i'm thinking i'm gonna be working on this tomorrow evening too 
but I want to be done with this. Looks good in there. Let's see. How far? Oh, wow. I'm going further in there. Let's see. Okay, that's about the same almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Patty. Patty, go on downstairs. Go on. Go on downstairs or go lay down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's too late. It's too late. Okay. He decided he's going to lay down. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, it is late. I guess I should lay down. near my house the old place I really like their pizza it was really good but they said they were just closing down for remodeling but when I looked over there it's a brand new different kind of pizza place so they sold it I was like what right when I was liking a pizza I actually liked you know well, they put this new pizza place over there. So me and my husband, we decided, let's try this new pizza place out for dinner. Yeah, it's like date night at the pizza place. It's like, yeah. So we went and got pizza, but we like to bring our stuff home and eat it in the privacy of our own home. And I said, let's just get their pizza and try it in a salad. So we got pizza and a salad. My husband's like, man, we could have made pizza. We could have made pizza ourselves. I was like, ah. Well, at least we know what it tastes like. I try to find the positive, even in a bad situation, or negative, or not so desirable. I'll be trying. I'll be like, yeah, but at least we tried it. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I hate that, though. You go and you think it's going to be amazing. And man, that pizza was not amazing. It was just regular old pizza. <laughs> it's like, man, I could have done this at home. We could have, we could have pulled it all together, me and my husbands. But no, we didn't. I'm trying to think of what I want to do next. If I want to do any more up top, or do I want to stay down here? Did everything kind of even except for I didn't finish the maybe I'll finish this row here. Oh, let me just pull it up from the bottom. Pull it up from the bottom. try it that's true we tried it and child let me tell you what i'm good on that i'm good i was like man so we got a large veggie pizza and a salad you know how much that costs this is what made me mad 31 dollars yep 30 one ding dang dollars I'm thinking if you won't cost that much at least be real good good gracious mm -hmm. I could have saved my money I ain't gonna kid you we just wanted to do a cheap I was going to say, th yeah, $31. I got a large salad and a large pizza. I could have saved my money. Salad was all right. I mean, you can't mess up lettuce unless you just... Life is expensive. It's insane. It's insanely expensive for no ding-dang reason. It's like, it's no reason for it to be that expensive. It's pizza, for goodness sake. 
It's just pizza. What the heck? It's dough and a few veggies. What the heck? And you get dough for what? Three dollars? Two dollars? Get some a good tomato paste. Put your favorite seasonings in there. Here in Cali, that would have been fifty dollars. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The cost of living out there is expensive. That's what turned me off about wanting to live in California. the The cost of living is just ridiculous. I was looking at how much it costs to live in Arizona. That's where I want to go. So I can breathe out there. How about that? I feel so much better in Arizona. But the cost of living, I thought it was going to be like equal to what we, it's like this house that we have right now, I would be paying four, okay, 400, at least close to 400K for this house. To rent a three bedroom, two bath is like 18, 1800. That's more expensive than my mortgage. You said McDonald's is expensive. It is. They done gone up too. My husband left fish sandwiches for there. If we get something like say, let's say I get a fish sandwich, my husband get a fish sandwich. I get a fry, he get a fry. Let's say he get a large drink and I get a large drink. That's $24 right there. $24. I'm like, it's a fish sandwich. Jeez. <laughs> it's not like a big gigantor. I don't know. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Why are y'all charging like this? You said CJ's meal was $16 for one meal. Wow. And that was just their chicken tenders meal. Oh, my goodness. T.S. Oh, my. Yeah, they be doing too much. I'm like, y'all costing too much for no reason. There is no, no solid reason for y'all to be that expensive. That's crazy. Chicken tenders. Hey, sifting some soil and more. Welcome in. I'm diamond painting tonight. Somebody asked for one of these for one of my, my niece's friends, and so I told her I'll make it one for a small fee. That's what I'm doing. This is a, um, diamond painting a diamond art uh, journal
Well, good night, Stacy May. May the Most High bless you. Get you some good rest. I'll be back out tomorrow, hopefully to finish this off. Now, this is what I call patience. Yeah. For sure. I'm going to finish this room. Then I'm going to call it a night. Only because it's, it's midnight, man. And here in the wonderful state of Ohio. <laughs> he said, John out a leaf clover grid pattern for this mosaic blanket I am tinkering with. Oh, cool. That's cool. I love that to you guys. I love that for you. Because I know how much you like your mosaic. So I only got like a few more to do with this row right here then I call it a night but I'm just gotta do this row of twos and then we're gonna be we're gonna be done for tonight and then I'll be back at it tomorrow. Okay, fam. This is where I'm at. Let's see. This is two. This is three. So tomorrow, this is one. So I got one, two, and three. And this is number five. Let me go ahead and smash this up. Let me see what. Make sure I got everything in that circle. Yep, I did. So being that everything is good there, we'll be back tomorrow hopefully I'll be able to complete this tomorrow I'm looking like I should be able to this is where all the details is inside here oh my gosh it's so much what I could do is the big ones tomorrow I'll start out with the big ones but I like this I love how this is so you got your memo on the inside mm -hmm. Do I spray it when I'm done? No, I don't. Should I? Should I spray it when I'm done? I don't have any spray to go in. And it didn't come with any spray. This is like a little kit. You don't have to spray it because um, doesn't the spray make the um, 
some of them shiny or whatever it depends on what type you're using i guess i could get the spray but it's not necessary but i do use this roller so i continue to like go over it when i'm done with it all i'll roll it over to make sure everybody's sticking because this is automatically sticky it's already glue on here so I'm thinking I could probably finish these through this part. I don't know. I'll figure it out in the morning what I need to do. I got all this to do around here. Okay, thank you. It's coming out nicely. Yeah. this little I like my little purple this is so cute the ones that they come with are these right here these little ones which aren't bad they all come with one of these it does the same thing except for this one you can pick up big ones with this side over here and this they this comes with a bunch of adjustable um you can change out these heads right here Mm -hmm. and this doesn't come like that this just comes with this yep it's all good though see the one that I have the purple one comes with, I don't know if you can see these but there's more in here more pieces this one that does a few pieces at a time this one does and I think this is like a scraper of some kind of some sort but yeah that's it for now so I am done for now and then I'll be back tomorrow to uh, work this out I don't know if I'll I may do this be this part before I come back on and then I'll do this in the evening yeah I'm thinking that's what I'll do back do this tomorrow afternoon a little bit and then in the evening I'll do this because I want to finish it tomorrow so I'm gonna have to put a little extra time in tomorrow be done with it. beautiful I love it but yeah I don't have to spray it this isn't that kind but there are some that you do spray you do have to spray and it, I think it makes the the, the diamond art shinier but because of the type of diamonds these are it don't need that these are already sparkly they blingy this is blingy all of it is even the yellow ones the yellow ones look like little pearls like uh it's got like iridescent pearl situation jumping off and um it's hard to tell with this camera but it it, it does they are they are pearly i don't know if you can see them let me see if i can bring this up so you can see them what I'm talking about. So you can see how pearly these are. I don't know if you can. I can't tell from here. Yeah, you can't tell from here. They just look like the little yellow pieces. But let me see if you can see. Nope. They're pearly. So they're pearly yellow. So with this iridescent look to it. You said that's beautiful. Thank you. All right, family. It is late and we got to get up in the morning. So we're going to tell production good night. Good night, production. Production, good night. All right. And that was fun. But we'll be back out here tomorrow, 6 45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Feel free to join us as we go live to check in and see how everybody's doing for the week getting ready for next week yeah all right or this week coming up so stay blessed stay encouraged okay all right all right so
stay encouraged. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Antoinette D. Cobra. I didn't even know you was in here, girl. Honey, hi. I missed you coming in. All right. <laughs> so y'all stay blessed, okay? May the most high bless y'all and may heaven smile upon y'all until next time. Look at my eyes. I'm tired, so I'm going to bed, guys. <laughs> stay encouraged until next time. All right? All right. Good night. Bye.